We're going to talk about the role of social media in freedom of expression uh, and, uh, and the effect of, uh, of uh, social media to pluralism with excellent presenters from Central and Eastern Europe. But uh, before we start uh, the program, uh, without any further ado, I will give the word to uh, Professor Jan Siladi to open the conference. Yeah, Mr. President, thank you so much. I hope that I can interpret the rules as the presenter had the right to speak without the mask. Uh, and uh, first of all, I would like to uh, express my uh, gratitude um, for their contributors, uh, contribution sorry, uh, to uh, the members of the research groups uh, from uh, all uh, countries of the Central European uh, uh, region uh, and of course especially uh, to the uh, president, to the head of this research, research group, uh, Professor Vielets. Uh, unfortunately, uh, due to the pandemic situation, uh, now he and the secretary of the research group and the Croatian uh, member of the research group uh, cannot enjoy uh, our company. Uh, I would like to continue uh, you know, the order uh, with uh, the organizers of this uh, uh, event, uh, especially uh, the Budapest Bar of Attorneys, uh, which uh, bar provided uh, this uh, fantastic and beautiful uh, place uh, as venue uh, of the conference. I would like to also express my gratitude uh, to the moderator of this event, thank you so much, uh, to accept our invitation. Uh, and uh, at last but not least, I would like to uh, express uh, uh, many thanks for my colleagues uh, from Ferenc Madel Institute. Uh, it's also, I think, uh, their success that we could organize this event and of course to operate uh, this uh, uh, research group. Uh, today, I would like to um, give a short presentation uh, about how we will uh, uh, interpret whether this is a short or not, but uh, uh, a kind of presentation about the outcomes and results of the Central European Professors Network. First of all, it's worth noticing that uh, the Ferenc Model Institute, uh, which uh, is and which was the uh, manager of this uh, project also has other uh, tasks connected typically uh, to, the, uh, to the job of government, uh, especially in the procedure of a new law adoption. In this case, uh, our colleagues, they provide uh, reports about uh, the legislation and legal practice of other uh, typical member states of the uh, EU uh, in a in numerous uh, legal fields, private law, public law, and so on and so on. Uh, of course, uh, these colleagues, they are also active member of the Hungarian uh, scientific community, therefore they publish uh, articles, chapters, and so on and so on. But uh, last year, in 2020, uh, we uh, acquired a kind of opportunity uh, to launch a new project. This is the Central European Professors Network. And uh, in this project, or via this project, we try to somehow improve and deepen the cooperation among uh, the different uh, national scientific communities of this region, Central Europe. Uh, it's worth noticing that I think it's, it's a general experiment, uh, experience. Uh, and for example, uh, yesterday, Professor uh, Popovic mentioned that it's typical that we here in this region have a relatively strong connection with other countries, but we do not have connection or, or not as many connections uh, with our neighborhood uh, scientific communities. Therefore, it was obvious to somehow launch a project through which we can help uh, this situation. The professor's network uh, provide, I think, this uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, in this project, uh, the Polish partners, and especially the Polish, Polish Partner Institute, the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, 
was as an essential member. It's worth noticing that they also uh, introduced another research project in the framework of Central European Professors Network, a special Polish-Hungarian research platform. In this Polish-Hungarian research platforms, they established four research groups with other nice topics. But what are the outcomes of the Hungarian part of this Central European Professors Network that will be the subject of my presentation. First of all, the significant element of uh, this uh, uh, Professors Network, the research groups. In 2021, uh, we set up uh, four research groups uh, with different topics, uh, one of them uh, is the topic of this uh, research group, the freedom of expression, especially connected to the challenges deriving from, uh, from uh, uh, social media and this new fora of digital era. Uh, another topic uh, connected to the families, another topic to the freedom of religious, and uh, not the last, but the fourth topic is about the reasoning and interpretation methods of uh, constitutional courts uh, of this region. <clears throat> uh, in the framework of uh, these research uh, groups, one of the <clears throat> uh, main outcomes, uh, they are the books uh, wrote by the uh, members of uh, research groups. Uh, here you can see that uh, we, of course, with the contributions of uh, the members of the group were quite effective uh, because we could publish uh, these uh, books. Uh, it's worth noticing uh, that besides uh, the contribution of, uh, of uh, the authors, we also use, uh, I th in my opinion, a renowned uh, readers, uh, uh, you know, peers, uh, to check uh, our uh, outcomes. Uh, they were also invited uh, from this region, not merely from Hungary, but of course uh, from the uh, region of uh, this project. Uh, and uh, there were also a very uh, important part, the linguistic proofreading process uh, of, this, of this book. It's worth noticing that Eng how the English is this common language nowadays. Uh, and of course, this is a fact that uh, we have to use English language uh, as the form of communication. However, it's worth noticing that this is not the perfect uh, language, uh, uh, you know, uh, in this region to use, taking into account uh, the characteristic and characteristics and features of our legal order, our legal tradition. But this is the fact. This is a. Uh, determined uh, uh, phrase uh, of the situation that we have to use uh, English language. Therefore, linguistic proofreading and, you know, to check, to, to use this service, it was also an important issue uh, in connection with this book. And, of course, it was a kind of uh, communication uh, between the peers, between the linguistic proofreaders and the authors. And I think it's a fantastic result that a uh, research group started in January could publish a book uh, in November. Therefore, thank you so much uh, for your activity. As to uh, the books, of course, uh, that is uh, the first book, uh, The Impact of uh, Digital Platforms, and it has a quite long name, edited by our uh, Polish uh, professor, Polish friend, uh, Professor Marcin uh, uh, Vialec. Uh, I'm absolutely certain uh, that uh, this research is, or and the outcomes of this research, they do not represent the end of this research activity, because in my opinion, as to this book and as to this topic, there are more question, questions than answers uh, connected uh, to the, the previously mentioned challenges. Uh, as to the uh, religious uh, symbols uh, in the public sphere, uh, this uh, uh, book was edited also by a Polish uh, professor, Professor Pavel uh, Sobczyk. He is uh, a deputy uh, director of the uh, Institute of Justice, and besides, 
Uh, it's, uh, he's also uh, Dean of the uh, Faculty of Law and uh, University of Opel. Uh, as to the topic uh, of this uh, book, it's worth noticing that it's worth an interesting moment, aspect for me, uh, that the use, the usage of religious symbols in the public sphere is, uh, is uh, part uh, of the tradition in the given countries, with some exceptions, for example, in connection with Slovenia, however, but, but as to the uh, other uh, uh, group members, it's first noticing that it's part of the tradition, therefore, there are relatively, or we cannot, we cannot find, find uh, too much uh, regulations uh, or cases connected to the regular courts. Of course, in connection with constitutional courts, we, we had uh, decision, decisions, but relatively there are a few uh, norms and uh, cases in the uh, given countries connected to this topic, uh, because the reason is a real tradition in uh, these countries. In this case, uh, my conclusion, and maybe it's not your conclusion, uh, that when we try to find this kind of common tradition, common characteristics of uh, uh, the given countries, you know, the Visegrad countries, Serbia, Croatia, <coughs> Slovenia, uh, this is, this can be uh, a part of this common basis. As to, uh, that is, I have a similar um, conclusion, co uh, conclusion connected to the uh, third book. Uh, this is the family protection from a uh, legal perspective, because as to uh, the components of the definition of, of marriage, we have the same uh, components, uh, and uh, the, my uh, and uh, there is a similar uh, feature connected uh, to the uh, adoption as well. Therefore, via uh, this project, we could also determine some uh, similarities uh, uh, in the family law and in the constitutional legislation of families in these countries. Uh, as to constitutional reasoning and constitutional interpretation uh, uh, group, uh, I think uh, there are numerous uh, uh, results uh, and assessments connected to this uh, uh, group. I try to summarize, select some of them, but it's better if you read uh, 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 these books. Um, I think this uh, uh, research drew our attention to an opportunity that, for example, uh, referring to other member states' constitutional court decision uh, uh, can be an exciting opportunity uh, for for uh, uh, for the given constitutional courts to uh, to improve uh, their uh, practice. That is, it's typical, for example, that uh, the constitutional courts of this region they refer to the European Court of Human Rights. It's, it's okay, okay, and it's acceptable, and they also refer. Um, for example, to the uh, German Constitutional Court, it's also relatively typical uh, in this region. Uh, but we could determine some uh, judgments in which they uh, refer to each other. Uh, there are not so many uh, uh, judgments. However, I think it can be also <coughs> an opportunity because we have, as I previously mentioned, similar traditions. Therefore, it can be interesting. I think sometimes, you know, to, uh, to uh, make a kind of overloop to other uh, practices. Besides this, uh, besides these books, uh, we also asked the members of the research group, research groups, uh, to um, organize, to contribute uh, to, uh, in, in so-called dissemination events. As you can see, uh, dissemination events, uh, this category includes numerous kinds uh, of activities, uh, for example, lectures, conferences, uh, roundtable discussions, um, press interviews, and so on and so on. Uh, in my opinion, the, uh, uh, the activity uh, of the 
uh, members that was uh, uh, fascinating and uh, here you can see uh, the numbers it's worth noticing that it's not the end number uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, phrase of activity. Uh, the uh, given slide presents merely the uh, status uh, on uh, 18 November. Another important uh, issue uh, or uh, moments or sub-program of the Central European Professors Network. Uh, connected to the so-called Central European Junior Program. Uh, this program has two pillars, an internship uh, program. Uh, it's worth noticing that uh, interns of this program, they are in the uh, audience, you can uh, find them here. Uh, and uh, another, the second pillar of this project is a PhD uh, uh, project, PhD uh, program. Uh, we involve uh, uh, doctoral school uh, to to uh, provide uh, this uh, support uh, for us. Uh, it's worth noticing uh, that uh, in this project uh, we can find uh, uh, young researchers from the countries of this region. The supervisors, the PhD supervisors of this project, they are also from this region, therefore not merely the supervisors of the given doctoral school, but uh, we could uh, invite uh, supervisors uh, from uh, the region. And uh, the course books uh, of this project is also a common joint uh, contribution of the professors of, of, of this uh, region. And that is the reason why we could establish a book series especially to this project. It's quite ambitious um, series because in this year and next year our intention to publish uh, ten issues of this series. Uh, I hope that uh, this year uh, we can uh, publish the first book and the next nine books in the next year. I I think we can, we can uh, determine that this is a uh, quite uh, ambitious uh, project, uh, almost uh, uh, 200 uh, uh, professors, associate professors uh, were involved uh, in this uh, project as authors or as peers uh, of these uh, uh, books. Uh, therefore, it's worth noticing that I think it's also similarly important uh, project for us as uh, the special series of the Central European Professors Network. The task of the members of the research groups also uh, connected to articles, um, scientific articles. Uh, they uh, were asked to uh, deliver uh, their articles in September. At this moment, uh, you know, we are, uh, of course, after a, a, a peer review uh, procedure, now we are in uh, linguistic proofreader uh, project. And uh, uh, this uh, amount of articles uh, provided an opportunity for us to establish a new English language uh, journal uh, for, uh, or to, to support the activity of, uh, uh, of the scientific communities of this region. You can see uh, the name uh, of, the, of this uh, journal. This is Low Identity and Values. Uh, and we hope uh, that uh, we can continue uh, and uh, uh, we can continue uh, this activity connected to the uh, improvement development of this journal as well. The language is English, of course. I previously mentioned a series of Central European uh, Professors Network, the special name of these studies of the Central European Professors Network. Uh, there is another book series, uh, the previously mentioned uh, uh, series of uh, the junior program. Uh, that is a journal, uh, Low Identity and Values. If you use the abbreviation of this, uh, of this journal name, it, it, this is Live. Live. Uh, and, uh, you know, this uh, project uh, demanded uh, a proper publishing house uh, which somehow can uh, represent 
you know, the interest of this project. That was the reason uh, why we uh, established uh, a new publishing house. This is the Central European Academic uh, Publishing. Uh, you can enjoy, you know, the logo of this uh, 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 publishing house also uh, on the uh, on the cover of this uh, of the uh, book series. Um, I hope that uh, this publishing house um, can provide a long run. Uh, contribution and support for the uh, uh, scientists uh, of this region. We would like to provide also a kind of um, institutional framework for uh, for scholars of this region, and uh, we were absolutely glad uh, that uh, uh, three national associations uh, from this region. Uh, uh, established uh, a kind of uh, uh, Central European Association uh, for Comparative Law uh, as, a, as an NGO uh, background uh, of this uh, uh, project. Uh, the members of this uh, uh, Central European Association for Comparative Laws, they are the national associations. However, uh, this uh, Central European Association uh, operates a kind of international advisory board. This is a quite fresh association, as you can see on the, the logo. It was established only in this year, at the beginning of this year. Um, but uh, I think we could find uh, some topics uh, uh, which could be uh, operated pro in a proper form here in the frame of this association. Uh, the plan of this association to launch uh, its uh, international uh, activity connected to the assessment of uh, scientific uh, activity in the given countries, because in almost all countries this is an absolutely hot topical situation, you know, how to assess uh, the the uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, research. It's an important part if you would like to become uh, a professor uh, also in the uh, financing uh, system of the, of the universities of this uh, region. And uh, maybe via the, this uh, association we could uh, make uh, an interesting uh, cooperation, you know, first of all uh, to be aware of the uh, systems of these uh, uh, countries. This is only the first step, uh, and I, oh, and I, and of course the uh, 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 the representatives of this association also hope that it could be uh, uh, also a proper form for this cooperation. <laughs> At the end of uh, my presentation, I would like to focus on the future of this uh, project a little bit. However, I mentioned some elements of this, uh, the journal, uh, maybe the uh, association, and so on and so on. Uh, but it's worth noticing that uh, uh, we would like to continue, you know, uh, the topics uh, of this uh, of this uh, professors' network 2021 in a given form, uh, and uh, there is an intention uh, to to boost. Uh, for new uh, research groups as well. Uh, the topics of these uh, research groups connected also to individuals, also to families, also to uh, nations, also to environment as an uh, important and challenging issue of the 21st century. As to individuals, uh, the next topic uh, connected to the um, right to privacy uh, as to families, uh, the project um, uh, wants to deal with uh, the parental responsibility. As to the nations, uh, the symbols of states, nations and other uh, uh, communities, other uh, traditional communities uh, of these countries, and as to the environment, we would like to uh, focus on the constitutional 
constitutional uh, um, aspects of uh, uh, right to the healthy environment. We were so successful, uh, I can uh, conclude. We, of course, uh, includes you, the members uh, of this group, and that is the reason uh, why, uh, why the uh, Hungary, you know, the original plan uh, of the Hungarian uh, government was to uh, uh, finance this project as government. Uh, but uh, taking into account of these uh, outcomes, the Hungarian Parliament uh, decided uh, to continue this project uh, for the next five years. Uh, I think it's obvious that uh, this is a, a uh, more respectful uh, uh, opportunity for us uh, to continue this job. But it's worth noticing uh, that uh, there was also a decision to continue uh, this project in another form. It, what does it mean? It means that the Ferenc Model Institute uh, of Cooperative Law uh, is going to continue its activity at the, at the the mentioned activity at the beginning of, of my presentation connected to the, uh, connected to the um, um, uh, lawmaking procedures of the Hungarian government and a new uh, organization will continue uh, the Central European Professors Network. Uh, the strategic decisions uh, they were made uh, by the uh, parliament and the uh, government. At this moment, uh, we are the, the operational uh, uh, decis decisions. They are underway. Uh, therefore, I cannot pronounce uh, the new organization at this moment. Maybe in some days, uh, I have the right, you know, to do that. Uh, but I uh, would like to refer. Uh, that, for example, the Central European Academic Publishing will be an uh, important element of this new organization. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to repeat myself. Uh, many thanks uh, for your uh, contribution and presence. Uh, and now I would like to give back the words uh, for the moderator. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was really a very impressive uh, uh, presentation. You did a hard job in 2021. So many outputs and so many things.